playing that, I just realized that there's a really prominent uh, bass line that uh, do 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 that countdown that I don't know. But you have to stay in D, so. How about we skip it? <laughs> I don't even know if it can be done. I have to listen to the song. Maybe I'm thinking of the Ugly Kid Joe version or the Harry. I can't remember. I just, uh, all of a sudden, it just popped in my head. There's that bass line. But we're playing the Merlin. We're not playing bass, so that's fine. Who cares? Let's skip it. Uh, Cats in the Cradle. So the version I grew up with was the uh, Ugly Kid Joe version. That came out when I was the age where music was everything. <laughs> well, it still is, but back then, you, I don't know. But the original version is Harry Chapman. Uh, not much melody we're doing in this, just as the chords pretty much... The, the, the melody follows the chords, so there's a little bit we're adding. Intro, we're doing a, like a, a abbreviated version of it like we usually do just because we don't have all the notes like you would on a guitar, right? So we make do with what we can. So E, 1, 1, 1, G, 3, 1, open, A, 1, open, 1. Uh, then we're gonna do a D, open, 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 with some variations, and then there's a B minor, two, one, open. I think that's all the chords. So that's basically all I'm doing for the intro. It's not. Far off, but it's not quite what they do either, but it's enough that it sounds close enough, right? So we're in, in uh, E. So hit your bass, your third string, high, low string. And then one strum, and then a single strum on your high string. Oops. So basically you're just rolling off. And then back onto your first. And then your D. Oh yeah, I messed that up. before you do that little melody piece, so. So it's the same thing you're doing in the E, you're just repeating that when you're in a D chord. And you end up back in the D. So that's what we're doing for the intro. Uh, the verse, not doing much melody into here until we get to the, and he was talking before I knew, and as he grew, he'd say, I'm going to be like you, Dad. Uh, there is a rundown we're going to be doing with that. But other than that, it's pretty much straight chord. So it starts in E, G, low G, A, E. D. Alright, so that rundown we're doing on the D. So you're starting to open D. So So basically you're on your second fret middle string. So open, second fret, second string. First fret, open. And 
then you go to your G, B minor, E, twice. So here's that D part. does that thing that we're not doing uh, once we get to the chorus we're gonna add a little bit more melody into this ch chords change a little bit so it starts in your E we'll just do it as a straight strum for now E D G A E D G E G B minor E so that's your chorus. So the D, we're going to add that in. So the chorus starts E. So you're doing a on to the D when you're going to the D. <laughs> Into the G. Into the A. So that's the only melody we're really doing there is that D. Sorry, we'll go to the A. And when you go to the G, we're doing the hammer on on your first fret on the middle string. So. Freaking bass line again, I'm telling you. I need a bass player. So that was pretty much the whole song. Uh, there's one part, the last verse, and it kind of repeats the, the end part. So, long since retired, moved away. the D part. So the last verse, you do the whole verse, and then you do the, once you get to the end, the twice, then you start from the D again. And then you do the G, B minor, E to end it. And again, it's in the green. See, so I don't know why I forgot about the song. I was actually going through a bunch of stuff from uh, when I was a kid, and we used to cover uh, the Ugly Kid Joe version all the time. Me and another guy had a kissy duo. We'd do, uh, I think I was 16, 17 at the time. We'd drive, I was from a small little town, small little town in Manitoba, and we'd drive into Winnipeg and do coffee houses playing acoustics it was it was fun as hell you know and then I just I, just, I was starting to go through some of that, those old songs and I'm like how did I forget about this song this is a cool song so that's Cats in the Cradle Harry Chapman Ugly Kid Joe whichever uh, the Ugly Kid Joe version are, they're like I don't know if you could, could call them a hair band or whatever but their version of this song if you've never heard it it's pretty friggin' amazing. They did an amazing job with it. That's it. Practice patience. Have fun. I might do a few requests now. I don't know. I'm actually just getting off work. We got uh, a whole bunch of snow here, so I didn't go to work today. So I'm doing lessons instead. Practice patience. Have fun. We'll see you guys next time.